Hey guys, welcome to Helton's Computer Repair. Google has introduced a new experimental called Strict Site Isolation Mode feature. That feature has came out on Google Chrome version 63. Now what it is, it's a feature that improves the security for Google Chrome browser users. When you enable the site isolations, all the contents for each site that you open in Google Chrome browser will always be rendering and dedicated for the process and also isolated for other sites. This creates an additional security boundary between each site that you have on. Now by default, this feature is actually um, disabled. So I'm going to be showing you how to enable this. Now for this, it is mostly just for experimental because it's not really out there for everyone. But you'll get to see in if any features will run slow or not. So let's go ahead and get started. And we need to open up Google Chrome. And you'll need to type in a few things. You can go ahead and select all the top and clear that out. Now you're going to type in Chrome colon slash slash flags slash number sign enable dash site dash per dash process. Once you have typed this, go ahead and press enter. And here's the feature called the strict site isolation. It says that right here that it's a highly experimental security mode that ensures that each render process contains pages from the most one site. So as you notice, it's mostly as for testing out. So to enable this, it's very simple. You will see where it's disabled. Go ahead and enable it. And you will be prompt to go ahead and relaunch Google Chrome. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and just open up a regular site and see how it goes. And it seems very normal. I guess it's a feature that you can see if any changes and performance on Google Chrome runs and keeping it more secure. Now, if you want to disable that, you would do the exact same thing by typing in this command. You will go ahead and type in Chrome colon slash slash flags slash number sign enable dash site dash per dash process and you'll basically go to the exact same old location that we were just on and all you have to do is just basically just press disable and it'll be telling you to relaunch it and it's basically it thanks for watching from Helton's computer repair and I can't wait to see you on another video